Okay, we're going to learn how to plot points in the coordinate system right now. So the first thing that we need to know is that a coordinate has to do with an axis. So we have coordinates on the x-axis and we have coordinates on the y-axis. Together a coordinate makes an ordered pair. And these ordered pairs, what we have these looking like is some x-y ordered pair. And so we have the x's listed first and then the y listed afterwards. So we know which coordinate re or which number refers to which or coordinate. Now the origin is just um, the point where x is 0 and y is 0 and it's represented by the ordered pair 0, 0 as we see over here in the notes. Now the um, coordinate system breaks a plane into four equal divisions and we name those divisions as quadrants and we start up here in the upper right corner corner and we go counterclockwise through the different quadrants and we label them with Roman numerals not our number system the Arabic numerals so we start with quadrant 1 here and then we go over here to quadrant 2 and then we go down here to quadrant 3 and then we go over here to quadrant 4 and those are labeled as you see here in the notes with the Roman numerals. All right, so we're going to plot these points. And I'm going to do the first one one way and then the second one a different way. So in the first one, I'm going to lo locate x equals 1, and then I'm going to count up to 1, 2, and 3. And once I get to that point, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dot there, and then I'm going to label it with its ordered pair. Now you're going to have to make sure that you always label with ordered pairs. I require that. All right, now moving on to my second point here, I'm going to do this in a different way. And this is much easier if you have lines already, but I don't have lines already, so it's going to, I'm going to make some on my own. So I'm going to locate negative 2 for the x, and I'm going to make a line going down this way. And visually, you could do with this visually or with um, both of your hands at one time or fingers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line right across from here from the negative 4 on the y quadrant. And then from that, I see where those two lines intersect is where the ordered pair belongs. So that point right there is negative 2 comma negative 4. And so I put that in there as my ordered pair. All right, so those are the two different ways that we can label it. So now we're going to go ahead and do 3, 5. So x equals 3 and y equals negative 5 right down there. And then I label it with its ordered pair, 3 comma negative 5. And then finally my last one, x equals negative 1, y equals positive 1, right there, labeled with its ordered pair, negative 1, comma, positive 1. And then what I want to do is I want to label these last two. Now these last two are not in quadrants. They are actually on the axes. So x equals 0 and y equals 5. You notice that when there's a number in the y position, it's on the y-axis. When there's 0 in the x position and there's a num different number, it's on the y-axis. And this one is on the x-axis because I see a negative 2 in the x position and a 0 in the y position. That tells me that I have something on the x-axis. And now the last thing that we need to do is we need to go and talk about the quadrants. So we're going to talk about the quadrants um, that each of these ordered pairs are in very quickly. So this ordered pair, 1, 3, was right here. That's in the first quadrant. So we would say that was in quadrant 1. And then our second ordered pair here, negative 2, negative 4, it's going to be labeled in our third quadrant. And I think I'm going to run out of time, but you're getting the point, I hope. And you notice that I'm putting in quadrants with um, Roman numerals. And then 3, negative 5, that's in the fourth quadrant. That's 4 in Roman numerals. And 4 in Roman numerals looks like I and then a V. And then finally, negative 1, 1, that's in the second quadrant. And the others don't have quadrant informations. They're on the axes. This one, remember, is on the y axis. And the other one, negative 2, 0, is on the x axis.